welcome to the episode. Today we talked about the best friends test. So we actually took a test between Ben, Jim, Ellie, Rich, and I to find out if we're truly best friends. You'll have to tune in to find out if we are. This episode is brought to you by Inside Tracker. As you know, I've been using Inside Tracker for a while now to optimize my performance and recovery. I actually just got a test done leading up to the open. Inside Tracker has helped me learn I'm more susceptible to high blood pressure. And based on my blood work, they recommended I switch from dairy milk to almond milk, which has helped inflammation in my body. Do you want to reach all your strength goals and all your life goals too? Do you want to feel healthier than you've ever felt before? You need to make a change. That's what Inside Tracker is all about. Inside Tracker analyzes your blood, DNA, and recently added the ability to sync with your fitness tracker to create a one of a kind science backed action plan to help you reach your potential for better than ever performance and longer, healthier life. For a limited time, Inside Tracker is offering 25% off its Inside Tracker plan plus free inner age. Just visit insidetracker.com slash froning. Start using Inside Tracker today because change is an inside job. Rolling! And action. Boom. What kind of pen is this? Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know. She's, they were in wrappers. Yeah. Today like free because pens. change is an inside job. Sorry. Right. Just, well, that, now that's really high. I feel like I'm going to have to be a giraffe. That's all right. We'll work through it. A Jim, giraffe. that's like your new favorite a sweatshirt. This is my new favorite sweatshirt. Does I like this one, one? Yeah. And, the, and the green one. They're awesome. And I hate pullovers. I really yeah. like that map, the prey black one too. Yeah. But it's That's fun. Nice I can't too. find that one. Somebody stole it. What? Somebody it's stole a barn. prey sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with That's you? That's like the worst thing. What's wrong with you? Funny. What? You yeah. sold a, a sweatshirt that has prey on it. Did you try the nitro before the nitro went down? Before it went down, what happened? So I think there's a leak in the line. Oh, no. Ben texts me. Oh, it's, no. It was good. Heart emoji. Get in here. Get some nitro. I show up so excited. Broken hearted. Oh no, was it good? Dang. Dude, it was good. No, I can't wait to it. It was really good. Did you try Rich? Mm. Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. Mm. This delicious. is the cold brew that was in the machine or whatever. Mm. They just dumped some of it out for me so I could have it. We nice. call it, what do you call it? Cold brew. Yeah, but he gave a name because oh. it came out. And it's, it's, not not really, it's not really for, it was like. Not yeah. for consumption. It looks dark. It's, was it stout? It's really stout. Is it good? I kind of like it. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like it, it with that. It's like stout. a kick in the face. Is yeah. it sticky icky? I like it. I like it kind of sharp at the end. Yeah. Is that okay if I say that? Yeah. Sure. A little sharp. Yeah, like a little, a bite. A bite. Mm. A bite. I like good. that. Kind of like, let's just keep going. Uh, let's speaking move on. of you and words, you know, um, I was lifting with uh, Maddie the other day. Food Maddie. Yes. Scott's Maddie. Yes. And uh, she walked up and she goes, you know, I think I was that girl. That uh, Jim said, hey, girl, too. <laughs> oh, my God. And she goes, you know, I never thought twice about it after it happened. She said not one time until I was listening to the podcast. And she was like, well, that was me. <laughs> it was. No I, so I, there you go. I'm actually saying it all the time now just for fun. <laughs> I know it. Huh? I am until I'm trying to own it. Hey, girl. Perfect. Hey, girl. <laughs> there you go. Hey, girl. <laughs> the inflections are getting weird, but it's fine. I'm just working with it. They're getting weird. <laughs> no, oh, keep it going. Goodness. No, no, keep Keep working on it, Jim. If you just keep doing it, it'll refine it and get better. <laughs> refine it. Oh, good grief. You'll just keep sucking. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Practice listen. Perfect. Thankfully, I'm married. It's all all right. You don't have to work on that. I don't have to worry about any of that. I can just keep, be goofy. You no need all to right. refine because you're good. Uh, maybe you should worry about it. Mm. Oh. Maybe you shouldn't say hey, girl to girls <laughs> if you're married. <laughs> okay. Uh, There's two sides, you know. Okay. That's, that's, I'm, I'm really trying to tell jokes now. Like, I've been really accused of being too serious. Mm-hmm. And I have most of my life. Mm-hmm. I haven't really done a good job of just being able to hang out. I haven't. My brain goes to being too serious. And I'm trying hard now. And sometimes it's an utter <laughs> fail. I don't even... Uh, like, the other dinner, night. Dinner the other night was <laughs> hilarious. It was so good. Wait, tell the story. You mean to do it or you want him to do it? <laughs> I don't <laughs> care. You do it. So we're sitting there. We're crammed into this... <laughs> There's yeah. only so Tasia's having Tasia and Hillary are having okay. Karen moments. It was supposed to be six people. Six max. to a table. Well, we've got six. 14. And then two more come and then two 14. more come. So there's like fourteen people crammed in this. And we're me and me and uh Jordan and Jim and Tyler was right there. Yeah. Tyler was right Tyler's there. And birthday. we're crammed into like should be a three person side where four of us are in there. And somebody else is trying to cram it. it you was, guys aren't narrow either. Greg was it's in not front like... of the door. And so this, the, the waitress was a little on edge already. She was kind of 
like nervous stressed. about having. She's like, yeah, we're not supposed to have more than six. I'm not going to say anything, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's Tyler's birthday. Two hours later, we finally get to order our food. And because we showed up early, I'm like, I got to eat. Yeah. You know, my fasting window, all that stuff, as lame as that sounds. To death. But I was starving. So she finally takes our order and she's sitting there, and Jim's like, Yeah, I'll take a quesadilla. You know, she goes, Do you want a uh, chicken or anything in it? And he goes, um, How's that anything? The most blank stare she was like, you've ever no, seen. No, she's no. like, yeah. did, She didn't what? understand, first of all. Anything? That's a good joke. <laughs> And I, I look at him, and I'm like, nice. Well done. And she's still, and finally he goes, I'll, I'll just have the chicken. Like, it, was <laughs> it was a joke. And she's like, she's like, I think she even like took her mask down and was like, yeah. even made the stare even worse. I, was, in my head, that was so freaking I thought it was, funny. It was clever. It was good. I it was, was like, good. The you best did good. was that you like recounted it three days later on a text group. Yeah. I, was I thought it was that. good. You know, yeah. it was, and then you try, you thought about doing quick. another one later, similar, and I was like, yeah, yeah. let it go. It's not like she's not witty enough to like. She right. did. She wouldn't have it. it. She in. was stressed. She had a yeah. lot going on. You should tell the Scott story too when he tried to order food. <laughs> so then <laughs> she, she gets around, and only three or four of us are eating food. Everybody else is just kind of having some drinks and hanging out. <laughs> Luckily, Scott had eaten before, so Scott's not sitting at the table because we're at the, in the corner, and there's like three or four chairs kind of like made this weird oblong circle <laughs> to kind of keep the circle going. So he's not at a table, and. Uh, and she goes, well, are you, are you going to eat anything? And he goes, well, I can't really eat in my lap. <laughs> and she goes, well, shit. <laughs> and just walks off. She was not happy. She was it. not happy at, at all. Point, and Scott was, was like, like oh, you know how Scott is. Yeah. Because it was the most just straightforward, like, yeah. well, I can't He's really eat in my lap. sarcastic like that, too. <laughs> she, did, she did not like that. Yeah. So it was, yeah. uh, <clears throat> yeah. It was fun. Love her heart. Was Scott joking or was he just being like, Scott... Like I think he was just being. I honest. think he was just joking yeah. slash honest. He had already eaten, so he wasn't mm. looking to eat. But man, it was. Uh, I felt so bad. She was Scott like, can be savage. <laughs> Did it take a long time, or was it still like once the order went in, it was fine? But she just avoided coming to the table as much as mm. possible. I had in. We were there from. <laughs> we're six, three hours. Six fifteen yeah. till. Oh, nine thirty. At nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a long. And I had two event. glasses of water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I drink a lot of water when I sit. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a pub. It's kind of like a yeah, pub yeah, place, yeah, so sure. it's kind of bar food or whatever. But yeah, for sure, I think she just wasn't about it. Well, and anyone managing a table of fourteen in a small sit, like that's understandable. That's a challenging scenario. Yeah. You know? Yeah, mostly because like it was we are at like ten, and she was like, no more people. And then people kept coming in one by one. She was like, no more people. <laughs> You're like, people. Well, I got you can there. sit on my lap. It's fine. <laughs> I yeah, got yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I was first there. And Kristen went to go to the bathroom. So I'm sitting there by myself. And she looks at me when she came over in the beginning. She's like, how many's in your party? And I said, well, I don't know. Maybe I think there's maybe eight, ten or something. She goes, there's only six allowed at this table. <laughs> And, and, so she's, and she looked at me. You. Yeah, uh, and, I, and I was like, it's so cool. So you started it. I was like, it's cool, man. Seven, eight, nine, and ten can go do their own damn thing. That's what I told her. I'm like, but, but they didn't. But, but they, they didn't. Yeah, actually joined the table. No, they, they just Crab brought chairs, chairs over. From across the restaurant. And you could just hear the chairs scooting through the entire restaurant. <laughs> and then Tasia and Hillary, you could just see it on their face. The rule followers in the group oh, were just gosh. like... That her, to twitch. The, the best part was her. Her and Ta Hil her She's Hillary. Hillary totally just panicked. like both of them. Panicked. They're just making each other more panicked. I know. I don't Kristen like leaned over. Rules like that. I know. It's so funny to watch you. You just are not enjoying anything after that. I was You're like, so worried. Let it go. It's fine. Like it's like Elsa. They're let just let it go. It go. <laughs> the worst part for me was when Greg came in and he put his chair in front of the door. That was so funny. <laughs> right in front of the door. <laughs> At least go to the other side where like people. I tried to hint that hey, let's go somewhere else because there's multiple. <laughs> places in this town that you don't care pig, right? i was like hey guys yeah. let's go to blue pig yeah. that that didn't no, work no. nobody negative listened. nobody listened it ended up being a good time and she served us so it was fine yeah Food well was... you know what was interesting and then i ordered something they were out of that oh, and yeah. then i ordered something and then she came back and they were out of something yeah. on that plate and i was you like you could not oh, okay. win you, you could not win <laughs> like I when i me, when starving. i made the bad joke you know it got totally quiet which was really funny so there's that really awkward thing and you were the only one that spoke up you were like oh okay i saw what you tried to do there you know something like that my wife moved away from me <laughs> like, she was like literally because no. i'm not i'm not with stupid yeah. 
Jordan's, Jordan's legs are touching mine. We're completely touching each yep. other. And Kristen's over here. And she slid towards Stasia away. And I was like, oh, that's where I was we're like, at. yeah, come here, Kristen. We don't know him. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see where we're at. Yeah, I see where we're kidding. at. I said it was funny. I'm trying to be better at hanging out and having fun. <laughs> Not anymore. You're back to serious gym. I'll go back to overanalyzing everything. <laughs> Maybe I, maybe I am an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where's the truth in the room? Say, All right, Tasia, fix this. Oh, Ellie, fix this. I'm just waiting for Jim's radical Gosh. truth of the week ever since we had that scenario. Yeah, <laughs> Why would you even sense. consider taking your earbud out of the toilet? Oh, my gosh. That's okay. And using it. Did you get that no. joke? What? Did you get the joke? The- fix it, flush it keep moving forward that's the mayhem mindset thing yeah yeah yeah. that's serious. why i like to keep moving but i'm Flexor. actually like Flexor. i cannot believe ben Move okay forward. you got to hear this scenario you should get it so, out and throw it in the toilet or in the trash Saturday, you shouldn't flush it but we did crazy workouts in the barn so i go to take my shirt off and i have my earphone in and i can't even get my arms over my head so i jumble i hit my ear why I'm would you bathroom. keep your earphones in while taking your shirt off because i always am taking content and i can't help it i like to listen to stuff so i'm listening to a podcast it gets caught it flies around, bounces off the wall, into the toilet, straight to the bottom. <laughs> so naturally, I take a picture of it and I send it to the you podcast do know, You do know it pauses. when you Usually when you take them out, it pauses the podcast. <laughs> and then you can put them back and in. And then you put them back in and <laughs> it After usually you put starts your shirt right on. Right that yeah. was like way too many steps. I just went for it. So it goes straight to the bottom of the toilet. Now, oh, I see you were in the group. I yeah. saw, and no one responded. So I sent a picture. <laughs> naturally, do you... What do you do? Do you, you flush take it, it out? 100% you Why? flush Why? It. It's not going to work you, anymore. No, you take it out. I don't know if it's, it's good away. for the septic system. Are you yeah. on sewer? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. you're on sewer. Actually, I was going to ask that. I was going to ask if you were on septic or sewer. Hmm. If you're in septic, you definitely need to get that thing yeah. out. And there was no matter in the <laughs> I mean, I have antibodies. Right? So yeah, make, there wasn't matter anything else. There wasn't like poop in the toilet. So you could reach in and pull it out. And it's just not savable, I don't think. No, for sure not. Would you have seen that picture if there was a turd in there? Huh? I still if she would have said that. <laughs> <laughs> there was a turd <laughs> next to poop. it. <laughs> that is so gross. I can't even it was like, a yes or no what part of you? What's the percentage that Ellie was just like, I got to talk to the group and I have nothing to talk to them for. So I'm going to throw this in there. Uh, she just bought a burner headphone. She just bought a burner headphone. It's like a cheap headphone. It's just like, uh, yep, that's a good idea. 100% what I thought. 100%. Really? I'm that bored that I'm going to salvage the... And as much as I use those Were they things... Beads? No, I see. No. I buy the really cheap, like, wireless ones because... Oh, that's my other question based on this subject. Okay, so I have not... I have to have the wraparound headphones because I have little ears and the other ones just don't the stay AirPods in. The Pro. So... so. AirPod. Ellie's on that, sewer, though, so she could have flushed it. What? You're on sewer, right? Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. flush it. Okay. If you're on septic, did you, you flush don't. it? Ben's still on sewer. Did you get it out? Yeah. What did you do? Let's just. You never can told we us. answer my no. other no, question first? No, no, no. Back you to the root. You definitely pulled it out because that's the smart thing. To do. I only have one set of headphones, but now I just use the left one and not the right one. So well, did you yeah. flush it? No. Oh, okay. Did you throw it away? You still have it. Well, it doesn't I, work. It's did, still you still in, yeah. did you put it in rice? <laughs> have you, you seen that, uh, Ellie? If you had dropped it in the toilet and pulled it out quickly before taking a picture, it could have been solid. You're have right. You seen I that probably could have, but I, could, I was so upset. Which one? The Liberty Mutual commercial where the guy's like dressed as a giant cell phone, <laughs> and the water comes up and hits him. He's in like a suit, you know, like doing advertising. He's like, "Oh, not again!" And then he just runs and jumps in a big bag of rice. <laughs> you seen that? That's oh, bad. it's good. That's it's good. Funny. Liberty Mutual commercials have been pretty good lately. Yeah. I've saved a phone with a bag of rice yeah. before. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna say the meme. There's a meme about that. That's funny. So you um still have put poop headphone in your ear? No, I didn't. I haven't put it in my ear. I just used the left one, which always oh. But Wait, you haven't tested to see if it works. It could I'm not work. like I feel. It's not like I, it's, I, the, the ear one. is not that kind of like I don't feel like your ear takes in stuff. But I still don't feel the water was really clean. There wasn't anything in it. It's fine. Yeah, but I feel like it should still be like disinfected or something. Nah, I don't know. Fine. I just anyway. So here's my my main question is, so I always buy these like they have like thirty dollar Bluetooth from China headphones. I haven't bit the bullet to buy the two hundred dollar ones because without fail, even when I had nice ones, four months in, based on the amount that I sweat. They short one at least one goes bad. So why am I gonna? Is it better to keep buying thirty dollar? So the toilet definitely of, didn't work. <laughs> no, the, the toilet didn't help my cause. No, but now do I buy another pair of thirty dollars headphones, or yes. do we make the investment and get the two hundred dollars pair no. and don't throw them in the toilet? No. Uh, yeah. Just With your buying the cheap ones. Just buy the cheap ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's it's fair. like sunglasses, you know. Mm. I, you bring yeah, sunglasses I give up on sunglasses. Just buy yeah. sunglasses. 
They always get scratched. No, I always lose them. Hmm. Always, never, never fails. Hmm. I still have one uh, one pair I've had for a couple of years now that I've been able to hold on to. I have two, yeah. but do you know what happened? Hmm. I lost it for a year and a half, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in the house. And for some reason, we have a lamp right there, and it has those wires on the top. So I just folded them, put them right there. I was like, I'll remember these. <laughs> for a year and a half. And I just happened to be walking by, and I was like, oh, there's my sunglasses. Wow. This kept me from losing them. On the yeah. topic of losing things, since we're having a confessional right now. Oh. We are? I already oh ordered a new pair of the, uh, the wireless headphones from Amazon. So you didn't even w- take our advice. You just went ahead and no. did it. No. Well, I, I need it. Like, I have to. It's I can't not have my... Whatever. Anyway, had them one day, gone. Kept no freaking clue. Uh, in this universe, here's, I have checked everywhere. Here's my everywhere. surprise face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, another set of headphones? Gone. So now, <laughs> as punishment, I'm just keeping the one. It's my fault. Well, you that $30, I yourself. might as well just burned it. Just, what did I, what could I have possibly have done with it? It's in no it's bag. in your car. Or in your bag. It's not in a bag. Wow. It's not in any bag. One of the most important <laughs> mindset skills to develop <laughs> is to ask the right question. Oh, you don't oh. want to spend a bunch of time answering the wrong questions. And that <laughs> happens a lot. People will say, what about this or this? And both of those are stupid things. Yeah. Let's not even talk about that. So sometimes when Ellie texts things, <laughs> her text said options. Those, I Remember? was genuinely trying to, the, I was, that was real. I know. It's just not the right question to ask. <laughs> What was the right question to ask? You didn't even need to ask it. What, you said flush it? Fist that thing out of the water, throw it away, buy a new, get on Amazon and keep coming forward. (laughs) I thought it was a 50-50 response. No, I I did (laughs) like the response. I thought it was funny. I was trying to, I was trying to be. Your response was was funny. To joke. Facetious. It made me laugh. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. I knew you would get it. Yeah. Just like the anything. I thought that was hilarious. God, that that was made good. me laugh at home. Uh, it was, was even almost. It was way better because it didn't land. Like that's what made it funny. I actually, <laughs> I, I I actually got embarrassed. No, you didn't. I did. Like my face started to turn a little bit red because it got so damn quiet that I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> that didn't go as at this, right at this moment. If Rich hadn't said something, I don't know, man. I'd be like, "Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom," and then just left. Oh shoot! <laughs> way to be a good friend, Rich. <laughs> As Jim goes under the table. <laughs> Jim's gone. My wife's trying to leave. <laughs> Everybody's staring at me. My wife, she couldn't leave, though. We were blocked in there. Oh, here we go, Karen. <laughs> Calm down, Karen. I know. I'm not offended by you calling me Karen. I've got. You should be. <laughs> I've got to stop it because my kids now call Hillary Karen. <laughs> like, like, goes, Dad, call Mom Karen. <laughs> Because she was going at me at something, and uh, she and then <laughs> she did something to Lakeland the other day, and Lakeland goes, "Calm down, Karen." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. What was bed. it you said? You called Trice, and it Hillary was like, "You stop calling him." Titty that. baby Trice. Oh. oh. She got fired up. Oh yeah, she took like, it fired up. I happened? call him TB3 for a little while because <laughs> that because like that. that got it kind of like. She, she didn't figure it out for probably three days, and then finally she goes, I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, All right. and this is just when he's whining or something? Yeah, when he's yeah. being yeah. a baby. Yeah. Which is really good for his, you know, moral, up, his upbringing and <laughs> bullying, that whole thing, you know? <laughs> Sounds about accurate. <laughs> he's, getting, he's getting loved in an equal amount. It's yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah. For sure. He's fine. The he's kisses fine. story just cries Oh, man. Me. Oh. He loves some kisses. <laughs> oh. Let me kiss, Dad. <laughs> okay. He came, yeah. okay. So awesome. He came in here and gave everybody hugs. Oh, earlier. Yeah. He just came He's a lover. How did I miss that? He's a lover. I did bribe him with a chocolate. I said, try <laughs> oh. Here you go. Give me a hug. I, I have candy. <laughs> Come here, Bro, little boy. You can have this chocolate. I have candy. <laughs> Oh gosh! Have you seen heavyweights? (laughs) No. I know. What's his name? Lars. 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 I have a severely deviated septum. (laughs) Don't be alarmed. I'm fine. They're on the buddy system. The body. The the body system. (laughs) Yes. Let's have a look. (laughs) Body. (laughs) Body. You've never seen heavyweights. You've got to watch heavyweights. It's It's like mid '90s. Ben Stiller. It's kind of a kid's movie. It's a okay. Disney movie, but okay. it's so great. Good. It's like these kids go to fat camp, <laughs> okay. and Ben Stiller buys the fat camp, and he's like <laughs> privately tutored kid his whole life, like trying to get them all in shape, but goes over the top. Oh, it's so good. It's really fun. I had multiple like, people this week tell me 
Ready Player One was amazing. Ready to Player go One watch. is great. Mm. I still have it not is watched great. it. You need to watch like, that. I gotta watch that. You'll like. There's one part though in Heavyweights where they're like all asleep, and he wakes him up with the PA system because it's like an old camp or whatever, and he's like, uh, "Today's evaluation day. <laughs> the key word value. Do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. You don't. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Did you guys ever do the whole camp thing growing no, up? Like go to, to camp, go camp, stay overnight. No. <laughs> yep. I did. did Which you? ones? Like I did church camp every year. Mm. Every every summer there was a church camp you went to. It was a ton of fun. Holy yeah. smokes! Yeah, I never got to do that. No. It was a good. My time. dad one time in sixth grade camp was he sharpened a stick. They were playing like cowboys and Indians or something. Sharpened a stick and was running uphill and tripped. Oh, no. And <gasps> stabbed himself <gasps> in the throat. Said he pulled it out, didn't think anything of it, kept running. He said every time he'd like exhale, it'd like <gasps> bubble up. Oh. And then it was like re- almost like a traked himself, basically. So he said he got sent oh. home from sixth grade camp early. He had to get stitches wow. in his neck. And, oh, that sounds yeah. terrible. Holy smokes. <laughs> Senior. I went to um, SeaWorld camp. I did Terrors of the yeah, Deep. Yeah, you did. Space camp. <laughs> SeaWorld <laughs> camp. I wish I went to Space camp. I always I wanted didn't. to go to go Space to France camp. camp. I did too. My, my parents were <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that's too expensive. You can't go to want yeah. to do that too. Like, You're not going to be an what, astronaut, no, right? No, no. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do they do at SeaWorld? Uh, well, you pick a, like... Do you throw straws in the turtle cage? Because that's what I would do. <laughs> Stare at the captive orcas? <laughs> Every night when everybody goes to sleep, <laughs> just, just the whole <laughs> thing of straws. <laughs> that's so bad. That is so terrible. So no. We, I'm kidding, everybody. It's a yeah, joke. No, kidding. it's not. Uh, well, so you pick, like, if you want to study, hate like... hate paper straws. Yeah, it's Sorry. fair to say Why? that. Sorry. Paper well, yeah, because the they worst. disintegrate in your mouth. Well, you just need a retractable I just don't metal even one, use like straws. the one Tasia gave me. No, metal straws suck, too. They're different. No, There's they taste weird. Yeah. No, they taste weird. It tastes metally. I haven't tried a metal straw yet, but I did find out Rich doesn't like drinking out of metal cups. I don't day. like why? metal cups. I don't know why. I don't like drinking out of metal cups. It tastes metal. Do you metal. have that issue? Yeah. Keeps it's, it cold, though. Seems normal. And that one mayhem mug... mug. Is yeah. awesome. Yeah. And it's metal, and it's the first one I ever had. I I and it I keeps everything a, really warm. Co- I can't. Well, I can drink other things out of. Oh, okay. I can't drink coffee oh. out of a metal cup hmm. for some reason. It. I don't know. It it makes it taste like metal. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the taste of metal. I felt like you were getting in my head the other day because I've never thought about it before, and then I was like, Does this does taste metal? <laughs> Do I taste metal? In your head. Does and it really? Like, don't get in your head. How does swimming it? in your dome? <laughs> Free rent. Free rent. And then I was like, nope, this is great. Sorry, SeaWorld Camp. Oh, Save the I world. went to SeaWorld Camp and Running Camp. Funny. Oh. I running know. Camp. Uh, SeaWorld Camp is just, you pick either the Arctic animals <laughs> or the <laughs> sharks. Which is, in retrospect, why did I want to wake up in the middle of the night and see sharks swimming above me? It was kind of creepy. But I went to Boy State. Does that count? Yeah, that's like a camp. Yeah. yeah. Think about that as a business model, running camp. God, how am I, I not mean, doing that? The kids show up, <laughs> run you them. run them. No, I mean, so we did Morning, it at, noon, and night, you run them. They're not even around. Now. It was actually awesome. It was at Stanford, and you go and you stay in the dorms, and then you train there with you the best there it is. athletes. There at it is. Stanford. What? They had the best running program in the United States. Of course they did. So you want to go there to train. And you ran. You know how much yeah. I traveled as a child? <laughs> To Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> That's yep. it. Yep. I thought you went to NASCAR yep. races. Well, yeah, but those were basically all around here. Yep. We went to Nebraska. <laughs> Kearney, Nebraska. We didn't go to Stanford <laughs> no, for running camp. They had I a, was they training. Had a... I wasn't even like... Yeah. It was actually... yeah, you know what training camp I went for baseball? Tennessee Tech. <laughs> <laughs> it was a day camp. <laughs> That's still at a college. We went to Harmon Park in Kearney, Nebraska, and there was a tank, a World War II tank, and we played on that. That's what we did. And then went home to grandma's. <laughs> yep. That's it. That While you fun. were at Stanford at running camp. <laughs> I mean, whatever. You didn't have gymnastics camp? Or you just were too busy training the actual sport? Yeah. Well, I did club gymnastics, so there wasn't really camps. You just trained all the time. <laughs> your, your camp was year-round. <laughs> Basically. Lakeland so, like, and Byler are starting gymnastics tonight here we there. go what so yeah. fired up that's gonna be so fun yeah. Yeah. This they're is gonna epic. have to go to auntie tasia for Violet tips is so fired up are they gonna be in different Aww. classes i cannot or wait to hear about this i don't know do you think know. either of them will continue to do it um, what do you think what's your thoughts i don't know violet's a little timid but i mean she likes to jump around and do those type no. of things like when i don't know we'll see she's got good body awareness yeah. like when she's just tall and lanky though she's is the hard part Sometimes timid is attention to detail, though, because, like, my two, my nieces and nephews have four of them now, which is crazy. The one that's eight, she's, like, Lakeland, like, wide open. Like, she will, like, bow people down the soccer field, and she's way more athletic than 
her brother, but Jack is like Violet, like he's more timid, but he, Johnny says like he'll stay in the yard and just kick Keep soccer practicing. balls to do the skill, do the skill. Mm. Like his attention to details mm. there, whereas like Ava's like, nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna go throw the kids down and keep running. Mm. So it could be skill yeah. set. We tried to take Britt to gymnastics, and she insisted on having a like what do you call it, like a, a little suit thing. What do they call leotard? leotard. Ooh, so she had to yeah. have they a certain leotard. The leotard. The Leo. Yeah, yeah. And she wanted a couple of those. And yeah. I was like, look, we're not going all in on a bunch of leotards because yeah. I think you're going to make it three days. I didn't tell <laughs> her that. <laughs> Literally got her there. And she refused to stay in line with the rest of the kids. And these are young. That was Lakeland. Are... Lakeland, the first time we went, she just, she's too busy. And yeah. she was mm-hmm. good at the stuff. And mm-hmm. you know, all these other she kids like needed help. Advanced. And Lakeland's just like, whoop. Brittany kept going over to the pit thing with all the foam yeah. in it and just all jumping pit. in it. Yeah. And they had to keep dragging her back over to what they were trying to do. And that's kind of like... That's it. Yeah. Let's try ice skating. <laughs> Brit-, Brit and Lakeland sound a lot alike. Mm. Yeah. She didn't make it very long. Mm. That'll be fun, no, though. She'd get a little rebellious and a little angry about it, and I'm jumping in the pit. Yeah. That's they gave her the, they gave them these spots that they have to sit on, carry mm. them around and sit on them. Oh, that's kind of a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you want to yeah, see my spot? This. See you later. It's a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How did geez. you, like, because you, you were into it, and you did it all the way through college, so you just, you had to have liked it. I mean... Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. It's like a lot of discipline, hard work, but like your friends are there and you just want to be good. It's like the drive of the competitive like, I part. want to go to the Olympics. Like that's mm-hmm. the drive for a lot of young girls, so I'll do whatever it takes. Like yeah. kind of thing. Did you watch Stick It as a kid? <laughs> well, so Stick It came out actually when I was like older. Oh. But I did see it and it's not realistic. Is that referring <laughs> is that referring to a landing or are you somebody telling someone to shove it up their I think it was uh both <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, Hillary Multi. was watching it with the girls the other night, and I was like, ah, I can't, "Is that a gymnastics movie?" Is that yeah, about? it's a gymnastics movie. It's pretty good. It's not realistic in a sense of like the main girl. She like she's like tall and lanky and yeah. well, yeah. But like you practice your routines, then you go and you compete your routine. Like you just do it a million times over, so then you go and you mm. do it. But there at the like big event, she's like, "I'm gonna add an extra flip," and like nobody could do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna change it. Like you've been doing your routine the same. I saw. A video that you posted mm. from college, I love and it that was—I mean, no joke. It was really cool to see you Thanks. doing that. I was like, "Holy smoke!" She were like, I heard about it. Amazing. flying and twisting and landing, and I was like, "She really did that." It was That's incredible. no joke. I did really do that. I can't. She didn't lie to us. No, <laughs> yeah. that was legit. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. I was freaking out. Yeah. Is it? I'm no I'm older than you guys. Is it Mary Lou Retton that I'm mm, st- yeah. the, the ten? Yep. Perfect ten. Perfect 10, and then maybe there was some, maybe Shrug was her yep, name Carrie or something. Yeah, Shrug was, like, she's the one who broke her foot. And then ball. landed that thing. Yeah. Those are two pretty Oof. epic moments in my mind, sports-wise, that I remember back to just, like, coming off the chair, like, that was amazing. Yeah. It's Look crazy to happened. see how much gymnastics come to from Mary Lou Retton and the skills she was doing oh. to, like, yeah. what Simone Biles is doing now. It's insane. It's, like, mind-blowing. Yeah. But. To be able to do all that with your body is just blows my mind yeah. that a human being can do all that. For real. Super cool. Super cool. It has to be incredible to watch from your perspective too, knowing you know how difficult a skill is, whereas like we watch the Olympics now and you still see like Simone Biles or someone do something like that and you're like, wow, that looks really awesome, but really <coughs> having no con- like ability to understand how difficult it is, you know? To yeah. be an Olympic athlete, I think would have been yeah. pretty cool. Absolutely, It'd be yeah. really cool to have Represent that your country. to do that Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Still time, Jim. Still time. You don't know about that. You're like biathlon <laughs> or something. That. Something with shooting. I don't know about that, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know I'm about trying that. to think about a sport that you might be able to participate in. Badminton. <laughs> curling. It, it, I'm curling. still recruiting curlers. We, we could do. We could actually do curling and get good at it. And I do agree. It. I'm just, maybe that's not true. I'm just putting it out there. But anyone could, who does curling, it seems probably easy. Like these people. What? That's the one where they like scrape the yeah. 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 I, a, yeah. I tried to recruit shooting. them last Winter Olympics, Ben, but they wouldn't do it. Hmm. I said, come on, please. Hmm. I just want to go to the Olympics. Maybe some shooting sports or something. Yeah. You know. I'm, I, it's okay. I'm not trying anymore. No, it's all right. You've given up the dream. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> what we're, about, we're leaving that what to other people. What if we got people. you a hor- equestrian? <laughs> Are there any sports that you're like, if somebody was like, yeah, I'm an Olympian. They're like, what sport was it? Would you like, yeah. There's got to be some out there that you're like, eh, I don't want anybody to know. <laughs> <laughs> I got all jammed up the other day because they were talking about this next Olympics break dancing. Oh, wow. Is an Olympic sport. How? And I was like, no. There's a couple they like. No, throw no, out no. There. And then I kind of Googled it. What are the rules for <gasps> competition? I don't know, but some well, of those people. Well, because in some other like real sport, they got rid of wrestling, right? Oh, yeah. It's, well, they narrowed the they narrowed the. Is golf still the, in there? The weight categories. There's only 
they've cut it out. There's not as many weight categories. Because those, those have like come and gone. Golf wasn't there a while back, baseball. and they added that. Baseball. Hmm. Some other. Uh, but then I looked at, I, 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 I popped on a couple of YouTube videos, and some of those people doing that breakdancing stuff, it's like so, I mean, it's crazy what they're doing. Physical? Like, with, yeah, wise? so physical and so yeah. almost like gymnastics, sort of. Sure. Not quite the same. It's but hard it's, for me for like, not taking anything away from gymnastics, but like subjective. Agreed, yeah. 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 Judging. Judging I, yeah. Like, it's hard for me to not classify it as a sport per se, but just, I don't know. I, I don't like, yeah. I don't like yeah. that there's no. There's a lot right. of bias in it. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's so much corruption and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I don't For like. sure. For sure. The whole but thing. I mean, there is, I mean, there's bad refs. There's all that type of stuff too. Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah. it is sport, but I don't know. Yeah. But as far as like rules go, like all what are that. the rules of break dancing mm-hmm. to make like a good routine? Mm-hmm. Is it like the level of skill or like how smooth they move or? Mm-hmm. The whole Russian team for the last two Olympics were all drugged. They're all on steroids. <laughs> except There's a movie the about it, right? Except for the figure <laughs> skaters. It's a fact. I know. I'm just, it's I'm, nuts. I'm just kidding. And now in this next Olympics, they can't carry their flag. <coughs> they couldn't in the last one either, right? Because no, it can't. was un... Yeah, they like, compete for no country, basically. Right. But still, the, the sanctions were basically lifted and backed off, and they can still show up. And hmm. That's kind of nuts. That, there's so much corruption inside mm. of some of that. Yep. Yeah. Money. 100%. It's crazy, though, too, though, because if you win an Olympic gold medal, you don't necessarily get money. It's just based on if you get endorsements, right? Yeah. Depends what you country pay, you're from. Yeah, you have to right. pay taxes on said medal as well. Do you? you know that? But don't you get, you get like, don't you get like 10 grand per medal? It's like gold, silver, and bronze are equal to a different know. value, but you get paid per medal you win. But it, it's based on country. Like your country yeah. compensates yeah. you. Not it's, almost, like, it's almost like we have something that you could search that. Oh, like you uh, could. <laughs> sitting right in front of you <laughs> with a website. I did watch that documentary that Michael Phelps made about yeah. like the just uh, basically how you're like an Olympian and broke and just striving yeah. to make. But some it. of the countries you work at like Home you're, Depot. You're a hero. Work at like Home Depot. Yeah. You're a hero if yeah. you're an Olympian. Yeah. You know, like you go sure. home to your country and you're like the person. Not yeah. here. When the Super Bowl. The That's Super it. Bowl. Oh, the Super Next oh, week. just wait. This, oh, it's Sunday, right? Rich, this there Sunday. was teams yeah. for the Olympics, <laughs> like Team America, Team China. Would you, would you, and they asked you to be on Team America, would you do it? Go to the Olympics for CrossFit? I don't know if CrossFit could ever be an Olympic sport. And everybody, there was that push of like, CrossFit needs the Olympics. I don't, I don't, it's, it's Why a not? world competition anyway. You'd have to define the events before. Mm, and I don't yeah. think you should have to do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mm, I like how you said that. It doesn't need to be. Well, if that wasn't we did, a, if we that did, wasn't a big deal. We like, did that. It was, it was called the Invitational, Ben. I know, mm-hmm. but He's not really. It's not the Olympics, though. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, now I don't know. I'm getting a little old for that, but you know, back then, yeah. The bummer is, it's once every four years for yeah. like, your sport. Yeah. Oh, Dang. Crazy. Yeah. Well, think about <laughs> the people that four qualified for the last time. Olympics that and now have to re earn their spot. Could you imagine? Yeah. That's like getting punched in the face over and over again for. Anyway, in gymnastics terms, a year—that's a long time. I heard uh, who's the speed Could you skater? Cross Dan. The terms, four years. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, like wow. you only compete at the games once every four years. Yeah, that would be insane. Where were you? Be- where will you be at four years? How old will you? Probably be? in a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, Thirty-seven. <laughs> They're almost thirty-eight, actually. Almost 37. so old. Yeah. So old. So old. What do you guys guess? So I pu- I pulled it up. What do you think you win as a U.S. Olympian? For gold, silver, and bronze, are each a different value. There's a, a dollar figure assigned to that medal? The United States pays their athlete oh. if you win this amount of money. I'm going to say gold. What do you think? 50K? 50. That's pretty high. But yeah, just I think about right. how many right. events there are. Oh. Yeah, 20K. 25 for, okay. for gold. Ben? One dollar, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> One dollar below. 15 for silver, 10 for bronze. 37.5 for gold. Uh, 22.5 for silver, 15,000 for bronze. Uh, in team sports, whoa, I don't know how that works. Each team it. member splits the pot evenly. <laughs> so oh, wow. uh, what if you're on a team with like 50 people, you get like eight bucks? Yeah, no. <laughs> Kill gold. <laughs> eight dollars, here we go. Let's go back to training another four Shit. years. <laughs> oh, wow, that's crazy. Get a gift card from Denny's and a slap on the ass. <laughs> That is crazy. Uh, I feel like they could pay more. Seven. Why is it so little? <laughs> it's not a lot. That's I feel like not that's like... not a lot at all. But think about how many medals there are, too. I guess, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I wonder how many medals. Well, I guess but I could look it But not really, because how many people compete? How many medals are given out at the Olympics? But then at they're the not all to Americans, so. No, but 
Yeah, they probably get like sponsorship deals, right? Huh? They probably yeah. get sponsors and stuff. Yeah, sponsors yeah. probably pay more. Yeah. I mean, is it actually going to go off this year? Is it supposed to be in Tokyo? Did or you this see next what one? Could be in Florida. <laughs> I know. I, did, uh, did you see how they're like making it? Is that joke? real? They're trying. No, it's serious. He, the governor's like, yeah, bring it to Florida. Gosh. Okay. Hold on. You talk I like mean, that? <laughs> no, that's, that's actually Yeah, bring it to Florida. <laughs> bring it to Florida. That's actually Bring it on Disney down to Lickerville. <laughs> Oh, you ever seen that skit? Oh, you ever seen that where Timberlake's in a uh, it's an yeah, SNL it's skit SNL. where he's in a bottle yeah. and he's he's the like <laughs> he makes a bunch of pop songs into like alcohol songs but okay. it, it always ends with bring it on down to Lickerville. <laughs> That's right. Lickerville. The, the Lickerville. caption on the floor thing. There's says, multiple of them. There's like <laughs> Omeletteville. There's yeah. like um, I forgot. There's multiple of them. They're good. How many medals do you think there are? 106. No. What no. in? Total given total out. Total in the Summer Olympics. I'm going to say that there are, there's a total of 2,200 medals given out. I'm what? just guessing. I have no idea. Ben, you want to go with your $1 on this one? Yeah, one $1. Medal? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that one, is that events or is that multiplied by three? Because oh, it's I think total it's given to bronze. people. Oh like to people. Yeah, you hand out. You need more information. How many people are medaled at the games? That's what I was trying to. Teacher? Oh, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> the 2016, 2016 Summer Olympics program featured 28 sports with 41 disciplines and a total of 306 events, tentatively resulting in 306 medal sets to be distributed. So, okay, so 900. 900. Yeah, 900. Yeah. Whatever. And 18. Or more, yeah. 918. 18. Math. Hmm. Hey, Ellie, what are we drawing on this paper? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, well, do you need to talk about what is this first? The, oh, the chocolate. Oh, Reese's and then we'll peanut butter yeah. cups with pretzels, and they're so it's from Austin easy. Brown. He's a retail sales rep for Hershey's. Austin he wanted to give Brown. us pretzel and they're, Hershey's. And they're, they just came out, apparently. And they're delicious. They're so delicious? Good. Like, like what's I've the ratio of pretzels of in this thing? Not much, actually, which makes it pretty good because they yeah. don't need the pretzel. Yeah, the pretzel's just there to give you a little crunch. It's really the right mix. Oh, wow, that's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just right, and I like that it's not just those air crispy things. Mm. It has a little more density to it, yeah. and saltiness. Mm. I'm in. Get those away from me. Really I, I, don't let me eat any more of those. They're Move too that good. away. I think they're it's better than your chocolate covered yeah. pretzels. I just not all of them. We'll Sweet. One at a time. One at a time. What are you writing? Wow. What I'm are you doing? All right, guys. I had so nothing. I was just. You're drawing. Ellie, yeah, I drew you to, like, as a unicorn pooping. Tom Brady's people. Why pooping? I don't know. I just liked it. Ben! Oh my gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> ben, I would like to see that picture again. Okay. That's great. So, I was going to send this to Tasia because I guess the. You know how your phones listen to you. But on my YouTube, uh, what popped up was Tom Brady and Gronk uh. going through the best friend test. Oh it's gosh. four questions. It's really simple. So, we're going to take the same <clears throat> test. And Tasia. You not only have to answer what you, th so oh here's gosh. how it works. We ask the question, we write down what we think the answer is gonna be for each other. Wait. And then you give your actual answer. So. Okay. We'll write each person's name. Uh huh. Rory is a handsome man. Look at him. <laughs> look at that, oh, the hair. Don't, don't, do not say that. He he does, his head is already big enough. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you said I actually have a small head for my body. I'm talking about the inflation in your head. And then make a sign for your answer. And for my answer? Yeah. Well, don't cheat off my paper. <laughs> and then, Tasha, you, you get a special column because you, I want to hear what you think Tom's answer is. Well, I'm, okay. Because I, just, I, I, I know him superficially. If you no. so. his best friend test, then, If you, you know. could give me a hint, that'd be great. Okay, I will. Because it's quick. It's just like four questions, but it was funny. And I was going to send it to you. I'm like, no, we're all going to take the best friend test instead. Best okay. Friend. We're Question the two best friends number that one. Could have. What? Be too deep. Yeah. They're, no, they're very. They're, like they're fun. Multiple choice answers. No. Okay. You're <laughs> answering what you think the answer is for each other. <laughs> they're each fall. customized. <laughs> so the question was, <laughs> what is Gronk's favorite thing to wear? But you're asking for each other. So what I think Ben's favorite thing to wear is Rich's oh. Tasia's silver, and then okay. you write the That's answer for yourself. <laughs> okay. Where's in what like headwear, shirt anything, wear, right? Anything. Yeah, this is like. Really I would broad. say just apparel, like clothing. Oh, just outfitted yeah. for me. Do I write myself down? No. Yeah, you do, but... You... Well, I already know my answers. Of course, mm. because we're guessing for you, too. You have to guess all of our answers, and we guess your answer. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah. So, like, I'm thinking right now what I think your favorite thing is, but you have to think what's rich, 
mine, Tasia, and Silver's favorite things to wear. Oh. We don't have like a... It's going to take a while. Yeah. No, we'll go through just, it quick. Just real quick. Uh, this is the first thing that... This is... Yeah. Um, well, Rich is way too easy. Dead air. Dead air. No. <laughs> Sorry, everybody out there in okay, the podcast Okay, Tasia, what do you think Tom's is while we're doing this? Nothing. <laughs> to wear nothing? <laughs> to wear nothing? Wow, pervert. <laughs> wow. Okay, that joke did not land. Clearly, <laughs> I'm experiencing a gym moment. <laughs> good try, though. That was good. I tried. I love it. Okay. That was awesome. Uh, that, that is... <laughs> That is so awesome because that is the craziest thing she's ever said. I know, said. yeah. I was like totally out of character, Tasia. I'm actually disappointed in you. There, like, ch- there are children watching Silent. this. That was awesome. Uh, Next. Okay. Uh, okay we're going to answer each one first. Yeah. I, okay, okay, so. I got to come up with something for Tasia, though. I got it. I know, my okay. Who wants to All right, I'll, I'll go, go first. first. Okay, oh. you go first. All right. Jim, into the storm hat. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tasia, sure, right. pants from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even true. Ellie, creepy Ooh. shiny pants. <laughs> oh. Shiny pants. Shiny pants. <laughs> That's so yeah. true. Ben, jean jacket. Oh, oh. I like it. That's so true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> Myself, the nano unknown. And Tom likes his Uggs. Oh, that's good. Nice. That's that was good. quality right there. Oh. Yeah. I wrote joggers for Rich. Shiny oh. pants like, for Ellie. Good, good. I like that. This Seriously? sweatshirt. Okay, that's for good. Jim. Yeah. Jean jacket for Ben, obviously. Wow. Yes. So wow. that's pretty. You. Wow. Me and you, Tage. You I'm, I'm too predictable, huh? I mean, I suck compared to you guys. I put into the storm hat for you is what I put. I had yoga pants, shiny pants for you. I didn't wow. have anything for Tasia. I was still trying to think. Okay. Because you kind of switch it up. I, I don't do. know. Yeah. Apparently and then I had the nanos <laughs> for Ben. What, what is your it's own? true. I wear nanos every day. For me? Did you Shout out to Reebok. your favorite? Like yeah, you know, my, my the storm I'm changing my, my answer to your guys' thing. answer. No, no, right. no, no, no. Oh, for you? No, yeah, you guys no, are no. right. Wait, what no, is but Tom's? You gotta... Is it Uggs? Is Tom Tom, Uggs? No, Tom's is... Uh, well, so Tom and Gronk switched back and forth, so he was answering for, for Gronk. Gronk on uh, that one. So, And it was a tank top and shorts because they live in Florida now or whatever. Um, You're Ellie, go through yours. Oh, yeah. Ben, I said joggers are... I can't tell if it's a sweater with a shirt underneath or a cut-off sweater. What, kind of what is it, the thing those, that you wear like... That's gray. That looks like a cutoff, but it's two colors. Is that a mayhem sweater or is that's, it? That's that's the mayhem. Yeah, it's mayhem athlete hoodie. It's okay. like gray and black sleeves. Mm. The the duotone. Yeah, yeah, that. These are actually like eagle. These are the last pair of joggers I had clean. I like the white. So. Silver for you. I put your noble Sorry uniform. Sorry, let you down. Yeah, that's pretty true. Tasia, mm-hmm. your two boot leggings or your crop mayhem hoodie. Ooh. <laughs> Rich, I just put that's no true. shirt. <laughs> no. Nah. Shorts or joggers. If he's wearing a yep. shirt. <laughs> I put Froning Farms. I feel like you wear Froning Farms a lot. Mm. More than Mayhem. It's okay. Um, <laughs> Tasia, I put Uggs. Yeah. No, thank you. Yes. For Ellie, I put her recycled clothing. <laughs> <laughs> For Jim, I put jeans. Yeah, it's true. I've jeans? Been that yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well. So, question number two. Tasia. Yeah. What is Tom's favorite word? But question for everybody. Favorite What's your favorite word, word or phrase? For each other. Uh, Wait, that's like really broad. Oh, that's a hard one. It, it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick I don't know, Silver, I know yours. Can you, so it's word or phrase? Word or phrase. Oh, geez. This is hard. Dead air, dead air. That's pretty good. Oh, wait, what's the other one? Oh, gosh. I don't know about this one. No. No, this one's too hard. Whatever. It's I'm just too much. This one. I'm it's too much one. thinking. Uh, My brain hurts. Mm-hmm. All right, since I'm done, I'll go ahead and tell a little story. I'm yeah, you too. go first. I'm good too. Are you going to go first? We're going to get ready? Yep. For um, Rich, it's just any movie quote. Mm. Just some shit. I mean, you some could show. probably say one. He would know well it, done. you know. Well done. Mm-hmm. Tasia, it's wicked. Ooh. I hear you say it a lot. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Ellie, it's holy Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Ben's killing it. Jim Ben's is it. keep moving or keep coming forward. Oh, I like yes. it. I heard you say it a few times. You said I today. So uh, I'm that's all that. I got. Those were legit. Mm. Mine for Jim is truth versus grace. 
Oh, mm, good that's one. Good. That was Tasia is some type of Wanda phrase when Thank she's you. angry. <laughs> so mm-hmm. Ellie's creepy laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ben is trash talk. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love ben trash talk. Myself theory. is my Ooh. phrase that I use to motivate others. Oh, what's that? I'd like to hear it. Tom's is let's go. I just assume. <laughs> always see a gift yes. of him saying let's go. Or LFG. Tom, I just wrote champion. I mean, obviously. Uh-oh. Winner. <laughs> a phrase that he uses. It says word or phrase. That he uses? Well, you're going to get no. inside his head when you hear Conspiracy this. Conspiracy you're theory know. for Ben. Right. Values for Jim. Ellie can't steal my joy. Ooh, uh, that's what I wrote. I wrote like jerk, what a loser. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Jerk, what a loser. Jim? I put conspiracy yeah. theories for Ben. Tasia was uh, like um. There's like this um <gasps> thing like, that you do all the time. Oh, I do? Yeah. <laughs> what a whore. <laughs> Ellie's was a cackle laugh. <laughs> And then, I don't laugh that yeah, much. it's very similar. And, and and Rich was connected to this movie idea. Anyone? Mm. Anyone? After you've quoted the movie, oh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I like it. I like the the newt one. I wish yours was the newt one, so you would say it. Turn me into a newt. <laughs> yeah. I got better. I got better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Ben, conspiracy theories. Mm. Silver, keep coming forward. Tasia, I did your belt quote. Today's the day. Is that what it says? This is the day, but close. You, that sucked. Oh, yeah, that's sure. good. That oh, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's that pretty that good. sucked was right, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway. Okay, uh, next. I got, five, oh. I got five minutes. Make it okay. easier. Tom's is, hey, babe. Apparently, everyone, players, friends, everyone, he always goes, hey, babe. So if you Perfect. meet him, he's going to go, hey, babe. I'll be like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> just, just, what's up? <laughs> All right, next uh, one. Okay. How'd you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, these... Uh, well, next three will just be really fast. If someone gets them correct, then we'll just move forward. Okay. okay uh, what is Gronk's hidden talent? No. Oh, so each of the our art? hidden talents. Yes. So what do you think everyone oh, else's gosh. hidden talent is? I have no idea. Uh, oh gosh, what's that? This ben, what the heck one. is that thing called with the? Uh... Oh gosh. Oh wow. Um, I got nothing. I got yeah. Wait, what was the th- question? I'm gonna. Again? Pass. Uh, hidden talents. I'm just, uh, some, I might be making this up. Oh, jeez. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got myself up over here. What? What's everybody's hidden talent? How about we just do that? Okay. Because uh, I don't know, I don't know if I have any. I just want to guess yours. Yeah, I, feel I sleep like with my eyes open. People. That's what I uh, wrote. Because really? that's what you always say. Really? really? Yeah. That's so creepy. It's like this. <laughs> Uh, ben, I said yours was tech deck, the little skateboard mm-hmm. thing with your fingers. Yeah, that's a What's good mine? one. What's yeah. mine? Uh, dancing. That's not true at all. I, but you have a signature dance move. Actually, not, not a crochet. Dance. That's mine. <laughs> crochet. Oh, wow. Yep, I can crochet okay. blankets. For Ben, I put cooking. Mm, that is a good For one. For Tasia, I put sure. conflict resolution. <laughs> Ellie organizing spreadsheets. Oh, funny. He's got jokes. And I got coffee with uh, Rich. You know what I said? Yours was being coffee. silly. And you Ooh, just nailed it. Ooh, I like it. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. What? This is actually kind of a fun. This is the last one for all of us. So the question was, what is Tom's favorite ring? But I also am rewording it. What's your favorite championship or victory for us? You have to pick between, you have to pick your favorite team and your favorite individual. That's a good uh, question. But Tasia, what's Tom's no. favorite victor? Or favorite Outside ring? of us and what we, you're talking about what we've. Are we talking about CrossFit? Or just That's whatever. what, I mean, his was football related, so I feel like it should CrossFit be CrossFit related. related, but we can broaden it if you want to go out like, side of that if you want. But I'd try to, you know, I would say CrossFit, but whatever you guys want. So like, you, the question is your what? Favorite medal? Your, yeah. Your own personal it's your victory? your favorite victory, personal mm-hmm. victory. Uh, uh, like, but for us, it's CrossFit. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So no your idea. favorite personal victory? Oh, I know what mine is. But you go, Rich. My favorite CrossFit years are the last ones that I've done. <laughs> the last one I was done in 14 and the last one in 19. It's the most fresh. Mm. Really? That's fair. You got a lot. You got a lot. I want to guess the home. 2015 games for you. Because, like, you guys weren't expected to win, right? Yeah, like, that's no true. Fence, just... I mean, they were all, like, I can't just narrow yeah, them down. But the ones that are most fresh on my memory are the last of each. Yeah. Makes sense. They're all mm. good. They all have their different ear thing. Yeah. Ellie? Oh, uh, 15. Yeah. Tasia? Mine, mine was 2019, for sure. So fun. Best of all my whole 
Not what if you haven't won anything? <laughs> 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 no, that's that's where I'm at here. I'm Jim. None. None. If we're talking CrossFit. No. No. Talk, talk about, football. Yeah. Whatever. The coolest. The coolest thing ever was I coached a, a 14-year-old girls soccer team with both my daughters on it. And then we're these little nobodies from nowhere, and we go beat the, the uptown kind of the big fancy teen club yeah. in a tournament. That's fun. And for a championship, and it was yeah. epic. And I still That's remember awesome. it. That's I cool. have the I ha- I kept the trophy. Ooh. I was supposed to turn it over, and it's <laughs> I have it enshrined in my bedroom with the girls' medals <laughs> nice. uh, awesome. on the wall. And it's the only thing that hangs on the wall in the house. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm gonna go get a haircut. You guys keep going. Enjoy. Oh. Peace. I'll see you. Bye. Peace. Wow. Bye. Tasia, you want to know what Tom said? Oh, that's said? what it should have yeah. been. Love you, bye. That's Tasia, what you say. Yeah. Besides Tom Brady. Yes. Who will be? Antonio Brown. Are you talking about the same player? No. Who Scotty will be? Miller. Who will be? <laughs> let him ask the question. The MVP of the Super Bowl. Wait, it can't be Tom Brady. Anybody but Tom Brady. Flo Rida. Antonio Brown. See ya. Well, I don't know. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. It could be Mahomes. He's the quarterback of the yeah, Chiefs. Yeah, but he's on the other team, yeah. so mm. I didn't a... want to pick him. Okay. Well, I get it. Uh, I, your heart wants, wants what your heart wants. So That's I fair. actually do like Patrick Mahomes, but I like Tom better. Well, he's pretty damn good. Patrick Mahomes? It should be a really good football game. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping, right? I feel like... Is it this... When is it? This Sunday? Sunday. This Sunday. Mm. That the Buccaneers are actually, like, the underdogs. They are. Well, I can't remember. Do you remember who won the first game? They played each other this year, and I think the Chiefs won. I can't remember. Though. Jim, I know nothing about football. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know very little. That's why I looked at you. I'm like, I don't know. You've lost Rich, so. Yeah, yeah he's the one that's got all that going. I literally wrote down like three names no, I need to remember. Oh, good job. <laughs> who did you, who did you put down? Case. Antonio Brown, Scotty Miller, Mike Evans. Good job. Gronk, like, all you really need to know is Tom Brady. That's, Who oh, cares right. what anybody else thinks? It That's was all you really need to know. When he was on the Pats, then I felt like I could know other players. But right. now, because, you know, it's just Tom Brady love. Mm-hmm. Your What's heart wants what your heart wants. I what have no say? idea. What's the spread? Who's supposed to win? Um, I think Kansas City. I bet the Chiefs are favored, but we could probably really. Google it. But Yeah, but it's know. Tom Brady. He has more experience. Yeah. Just based on like you know people that have that kind of momentum, I feel like that's hard to yeah. beat. Without now you're going to get any... off into a topic here yeah. that Ellie, the whole world fun. is going to argue. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. I good. thought that was really fun. That was a fun game. Yeah, it was fun. I uh, when I watched it, I was I it took every part of me not to just send it to you because I thought it was so funny, and it, now I can send it to you guys. It's hilarious. But uh, I was like, no, we're going to play this game instead. Yeah. Well, you got to prep, so. I actually didn't study the questions. I, I, well, I wrote, I re-listened to them on my way here. Because when I listened to it, I was like, oh, I'm going to write these down. And then I'm like, I'll listen to them later. And then, you know, Tuesday rolls along. And I'm like, oh, gosh. Got to get those questions. Was it Bluetooth <laughs> on your way here? Like, or mm-hmm. was it just that one? <laughs> no, it was in my car. Oh. So I'm I could Bluetooth and then voice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wait, voice to what? Your phone? Notes. Oh, no. I like voice. I've been using voice text a lot more than I ever have. Mm-hmm. But if she doesn't get it right, which there's always a mess up, it bothers me. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So then I'm like, I, it's I so send annoying. It, a lot. it takes more time to fix. I, like I'll talk into it and send it and then it's messed up. Yeah. And a couple mm-hmm. of times now it's been not good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you gotta be careful. Like, like the other day, i am be careful how I say this because this is a word I wouldn't really use, but like, it said instead of instead of come like hey come over here it, it was like a really derogatory term <laughs> and it was like and i was and I, luckily i was texting somebody that i know yeah. and they were laughing about it so because like in my car it doesn't like because you're driving yeah so i this is i don't do it to my car because it will it doesn't show you it just sends it is that what happened to you because on my phone if i voice text I can glance down and see the like yeah. it'll underline it in red if it's yeah. wrong, but it's what the word it chose. Whereas like in the car, I wouldn't know. I could have sent that. You could send it to your grandma. Who knows? You know. Yeah, yeah. it was on airplay in the car, and I couldn't see it. Yeah. That... Although I did, my mother-in-law is dot dot, mm. and it translated to dirty. <laughs> hey, dirty. <laughs> and now we everybody calls her dirty. <laughs> She's, That's really funny. She's Dottie Laramore, and everybody calls yeah. her Dot Dot, and I was texting her what we need to bring over. Hey, Dirty, what hey, we need to dirty. get, blah, blah, blah. So now she's just Dirty. That's funny. What's up, Dirty? So it worked out. I kind of wish that was my my nickname. We can call you Dirty. What's yeah. Up? What's you up, want dirty? dirty Turkey? What's yeah, up, dirty? dirty Silver? Silver Dirty? Nah. Nah, mm. probably doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Dirty rhyme. Jim. 
Dirty Jim, that kind of Dirty Jim. Kind of make, reminds me of that <laughs> Peanuts <rap> character, <laughs> like Pink Head. That's my rap name. Yeah, Walking Dirty Jim. Walking around the cloud behind you. Yeah, my name is there. James Dean, and I'm rocking this mic. See? Oh wow! Wow! I got a little yeah. tune that I know <laughs> you'll like. See? His over here. His hidden talent is rapping. Come on, someone do like a beat for Silver. That's hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe Ellie said my hidden talent was dancing because that's far. I, your dancing makes my heart happy. That's why I said it. Can you dance? No. I know you can do Talent? gymnastics. She but... always does the Talent? wide step right, the wide okay. step right. Talent left. means you're good at it. It makes me happy. I guess I sure. translate it in my mind. But I don't care that I'm not good at it. Okay, that's what cool. What do you think it that's is? That's good. What is your hidden Talent? That's awesome. I think my hidden talent is that I can drive a standard. Oh, that is a good hidden talent. That's actually super cool. That is legit. Like it's to be able to get in a sure. car and like, it's impressive. Have hey, you told you. the uh, the police story here um, on the podcast? My first, no. When I was first learning <laughs> to drive a standard, so I bought a car. My first car, I had saved up money and someone had helped me and I was like, I'm going to buy this Beaters, $1,500, but it was a standard. And I was like, this can't be that hard to learn. So I bought it before I even knew how to drive a standard. And then learning how to do it was way harder than I thought it was going to be. And at one point, I had taken it to work, and I was leaving work. It was late at night. It was like 10. I had just gotten off my shift, and I was driving home. And I did this thing where, like, when I'd get up to stoplights or stop signs, if there was nobody around, <laughs> I would just roll through. You know, like, I wouldn't yeah. stop. I would avoid stopping at all costs. Yeah. So you either start breaking real far from the light, hope it turns green, <laughs> and like that. I remember. And I was le- leaving town, and there was someone behind me, and I, the light was red. And I was like, I don't care. So I just drove through the stop sign or the stoplight. It was a cop, <laughs> and they pull me over, and yeah. I just went full. I'm like, this stupid car! It's so hard. I can't figure out how to drive. Like uh, now that I'm stopped, I'm not gonna be able to get out of first. And he honestly, it's just a. Uh, all right, I think it's okay. Do you need help getting home? And I was like, I was fine. And then he watched me. I remember just getting. I was like, to get going to get home. That was horrible. Oh, that's really funny. Just popping the clutch. It does cause you to panic when you're new, like you know, killing it. Oh yeah. Get on a hill. Try to balance. I remember being at a stoplight once, or excuse me, a four-way stop sign, and I just kept stalling it, kept stalling it, and there were people behind me just laying on their horn honking, and I just put my hand out the window and was like. I mean, what do you want? I'm like too stressed to do it with everyone behind me right now to try again. So I'm going to just go around me and then I'll try. That's so funny. Uh, and then you got good at it. Yeah, now I'm good. Now if you need to, you can just jump in and roll. And I'm ready to go to NASCAR. I like it. And drive. I like it. I you think that's what ready. you should do next. Maybe not competitive NASCAR, but <laughs> no. just take the car around. Can you imagine Tasia's like driving NASCAR? She's up in one of those little pajama suits. Actually, I could. That would be epic. Thanks, Ben. I could. That yeah, would be epic. I could see you killing it. That I, would be I awesome. Made, I made Taylor and Brittany learn to drive. That's good. On a standard. That's so right awesome. Off, right off. I just, that was like something that I had in my brain that I was, I wanted them to be able to do. And they mm-hmm. both were really mad and hated it mm. until at one point, I remember Tasia, or not Tasia, but Taylor was maybe 17 or, and she came home and she was so pumped that some kid she was dating couldn't mm. drive his new Jeep very well. <laughs> yeah. And she walked over and was like, let me show you. Yeah. And drove his Jeep, and he was all like, whoa, this girl knows how to That's drive. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a good thing to have, just in case. Yeah. You well, especially if you like go over to Europe or something, too. I mean, being able to drive that would be valuable. But here's what you got to think about. Is they're on the other side of the road. Mm-hmm. So the, that would be crazy. The gear shifter yeah. is on but the, only on in your s- left. Yeah. That's only in that some messy. places, that right? One, two, I thought three. it was just all of Europe. Was I it like that remember. in Iceland? I don't remember. I don't think so. When we were in Australia, it was the it's, opposite side, and... At, by the end, Rich actually did drive on the opposite side. It's op- it the, the steering wheel's on the opposite side, and you're on the opposite side of the road. It's a double... Op- it's, like, way confusing. Oh, wow. Because your brain naturally wants to do something. It doesn't something. even... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even just sitting in the passenger, I felt like I couldn't watch. Yeah, if you're not concentrating, you can mess that up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easy. My mm-hmm. friends and I tried to take one day trip in Australia and rent a car, and we almost died. The wow. very first turn out of where we were going was wrong and she looked the wrong way oh, yeah. i didn't volunteer i was like there's no way i can't wrap my brain around it she looked the wrong way and it was like Arr! we're like all right maybe we just go back to the hotel oh, wow. i wonder why it is that way i, I wonder why they just that's decided a great to question change it. are you gonna google it i am okay i learned to drive on a standard transmission that was on the column okay three yep. three gears mm-hmm. on the tree do you even know what that is mm-hmm. wow surprise me you're too young for that my dad, my dad had a Ford Econoline van, mm. so it was exactly the same thing. You know, you got the clutch and everything. Yeah. You just have to shift down here. 
It's interesting. Yeah. I've never driven one, but I know I've seen. It's really easy, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's easier than Goodness. this down here. Yeah, because it's just right here and it's really fluid. And... Yeah. Huh. I wonder why they changed it from that. To I don't know. I don't know enough about cars to know that, but that was kind of. Yeah. That was kind of how we rolled. I like that. I like that. Interesting. What Prime are you Minister Tulia Paya Sale Malayayoy wanted to swap sides to make it easier to import cheap cars from left hand driving Japan. Oh. Australia and New Zealand. Interesting. So, apparently. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know if that's actually true. That was just the first thing that came up. Hmm. Oh, well, history.com probably has a much better uh, reason. Yeah, hmm. I, I mean, I I haven't seen a, a, a... They don't make new cars that are manual, do they? They do. Do they? Yeah, for sure. I've not seen a new car in a long time that wasn't automatic. You know? I would love to have a manual again. Yeah? I have a little a, a little uh, Nissan truck hmm. that I that's kind of like a little backup car, and it's fun to get in and drive and shift. It's yeah. just kind of a little backup. Every car I've had, I mean, three cars have all been stick shift. Have since, they really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Driving. Even your truck? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Yep. Your, your truck is? Mm-hmm. Oh, right on. This but is typically fun. cheaper, too. You know? Yeah, for sure. More fuel efficient. Don't, don't break as much. Yeah. But I mean, sure. like, even like buying them, like, they knock down the price yeah. usually. 100%. Because yeah. the transmission's completely different. Yeah. So this definitely differs country to country, but this is a much better answer, <laughs> uh, which is really cool. Archaeological evidence suggests that the ancient Romans may have driven their cars and chariots on the left, and the practice Hold seems. On. Hold on. What? Which means the opposite side of what we the do. The ancient Romans may have driven their cars and chariots. Oh, on the... Sorry, carts. That oh, was a slip was on like, my like, brain. I'm like, the Romans? Cars? What are we <laughs> wait, talking wait about for, here? Wait to listen up. to that, though. <laughs> carts or chariots me. on the left, uh, which seem to have carry, carried over into parts of medieval Europe. The reasons are not entirely certain, blah, blah, blah. But then eventually some of them, some of them switched. There's evidence in the 1700s that horse and wagon traffic was so light that the decision to drive on the left or right often varied according to custom. Interesting. Yeah. And then it was left in Britain in 1773. And then the opposite prevailed in France in 1835. That's I, really cool. I've been, you know, I'm like in traveling. I've been in a couple of countries where it's just a free for all, mm-hmm. right? It's just whatever's going down is what's going down. I think there are sort of some ideas about what you're supposed to do, but for the most part, people are just going for it. When I was in Africa, it was kind of that way. You're just kind of like, whoa, mm. pay attention to what you're doing here. Here's actually the real reason. It's, well, at least for the U.S. influence. Uh, as wagons became more popular, traffic naturally moved to the right so drivers could sit closer to the center of the road and avoid collisions. Yet another major influence was car maker Henry Ford, who mass-produced his Model T with a left uh, position steering wheel, which necessitated driving on the right side of the road. So there's your answer. There it is. Great question, Ben. Oh. That's Brody cool. and Friends solves. Wow. Solves yeah. the mystery. The Everyone's questions. like, okay, the that mystery. was enough of that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah. We're this old. We didn't know that, though, you know? That is. That, it's, that was a great question. So Good. can you drive a stick shift? No. No, no, I, no one will teach me. I've wanted to we my talked whole about life. This once yeah. before. You, I'll bring the little truck over. And but if I can, break it, will you still be my friend? You won't break it. You won't break it. Uh, won't break it. I don't it's pretty hard. To... You're not going to break it. Yeah. You're not going to I can't break the engine if I do it wrong? No. You're sure. Stall well, it. you won't break it. You would not break it. <laughs> yeah, you won't. I It'd appreciate okay. your confidence. You can pop the clutch, and if you don't, if you don't kind of get a hold of that, you could mess a clutch up. But you, you, it's too easy to drive this Will little truck. Will you swear at me if I stall? No. <laughs> this little truck, literally, if you just let the the clutch out, mm-hmm. you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Clutch, brake. I understand like this how it supposedly you don't even, works. You don't even have to step on the accelerator, and it would go. Wow. So you could kind of learn. So it teaches you in like an easy vehicle. It, yeah, it's, it's very forgivable. It's not like like one of those cars you were talking about, a NASCAR. If you don't find that sweet oh, yeah. spot and give mm-hmm. it the gas, it'll die. Yeah. You're gonna, it's hard to drive. I need to get some practice in before we actually go to NASCAR. Yeah, I feel like you probably should. Yeah. Just, a little practice. Like I know how to do it, but to get it right. I think that would be so amazing if that was your thing. You just that would be so all awesome. of a sudden, old gym. just the intensity comes out and you're just like hammering it at Talladega. <laughs> but you know how much I like driving fast. Oh, that's not true. You do not like to drive fast. Exactly. So they'd be like, "Wow, Tasia's really she hit a hundred uh, miles per hour on the straightaway." <laughs> she told yeah, me, "Yeah, we gotta get a body cam on you for uh, sure, face cam." We were coming back from uh, Kentucky, and uh, Tasia was riding with me. Haley and Tasia were riding with me, and she said, "And then the I like to drive fast," and 
Um, and I and I tried to be like, hey, am I scaring you? Because I was going I pretty you? fast on some back roads. And she said in the nicest, most graceful way, well, and she's in the back seat too, which I never really thought about. So she's like probably half car sick. And she's like, you know how I don't really like to go that fast. <laughs> like, hint, hint, like, slow down. I felt well, kind of bad. I you did like good. It. You made it home in good time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I really hadn't thought about it until you said it. And then I did try to slow down. Abe won't even let me drive when we go anywhere. He wants to drive because I drive too slow. And by too slow, I drive the speed limit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, silver lining. Over. Come in here. Come I think on we're in, Hales. there, aren't we, Ben? Sit yeah, down, what's our... real quick, right there. We're at 104. No, oh, here we go. You want to no, say hi real down. quick, Hales? Come, come hey. join. Ladies and gentlemen, Haley Adams. That's a sweet sweater. Show off that, yeah, show off that, that hoodie you got there. Awesome. What do you got? It's new. It's new, new sweatshirt. Ooh, I like that one. That's kind of cool, actually. Tiger camo. Wow. That was cool. I'm into that. Dre told me I could have one if I posted a story in it. Here we oh. go. I was like, Beautiful. I have a rotation of five um, hoodies that I wear to the bar now. I love that. <laughs> like, there should, there yeah, should be some literally. kind of hoodie collage <laughs> because you rock the hoodies. They look oh, good, too. I rock them. I really like the hot pink you one You do a lot. rock them, Hales. Yeah, looks really I, good. I like With those pink too. pants. What is your favorite, oh. what's the favorite thing to wear workout-wise? We were but just talking about this. Anything baggy and loose. Yeah. Like, baggy and loose, okay. Two sizes too big. Okay. I love it. <laughs> even in the, even in like the, the summer, I feel like I would wear stuff like that, like extra large tank You tops. once told me that. You said big, that if it was your choice every day. Loose shorts, yeah. That's yeah. just me. They look yeah. good on you. Yeah. I just like wearing that. Yeah, I don't know. Good. It's like the college girl look. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The it is a very girl college look. girl look. Yeah. I like that. Because you are one. You are. Well, yes, college man. girl. Because in fact, that's your story. Oh, what's going on? You want one? Oh my gosh, they're chocolate with pretzels inside. They're really good. They're so good. They're like a perfect combo of sweet and salty. If I have one. uh... That's what I just said. I said, I've got one. Move them away. (laughs) Haley and I went to lunch the other day, Mm -hmm. and she brought her own sauce. She's (laughs) smart. Which sauce? That's a pro move. A1 for the potato because they're always out of ketchup, and I just like A1 with potato butter. Yeah. And then I brought my own salad dressing. Mm. I respect that. That's what it was. Yeah. I like having my own stuff. And then Mr. Scaly. (laughs) <laughs> oh, you did bring your scale. That's right. That's his name. But it was like totally like, like, like Ben said, it. pro move. She's just walking <laughs> in there like, yep, I'm going to get what I want. Yeah. And I'm putting what Might I want well. on it. It's okay. like, okay, I it's like this job. confidence. Get it done. Yeah. Whatever then you got to do. I dropped and broke it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped one of those bowls at the end and it shattered everywhere all over oh. the floor. I thought Oops. you dropped Mr. Scaly. I'm like, not the Scaly. I dropped the original Mr. Scaly ah. in California. And he Like my first year. So this is number two. Yeah. And he shattered everywhere. This is Mr. Scaly He's Jr. He's still going strong. This is a different one. This is number two. Oh, the new one. It's still going strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in it. It's so funny. Cookville, Tennessee, this is a little small town, right? McAllister's, McAllister's is a place to go. It's popping. Like it, it's it's so like funny. new for and here. And Chick-fil-A. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Which cracks me up because in college, when I was in college, that's yeah. the place to go. And that was a while ago. Yeah. Like hmm. m- my kids are you guys' age and they went to McAllister's with me. They like will yeah. not go to McAllister's yeah. anymore. That's like an old. I didn't know of it before. I, I never here. heard of it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Until I came here. And I know there was one like 30 minutes away from where I live at home, but we had never heard of it or anything. Yeah. So. What's the most popular place to eat in North Carolina? Like what's your go-to Barbecue. there? Mm. Barbecue. What's the famous n- barbecue up there? Lexington barbecue. That's where mm. I'm from. Yeah, she talks we about that go. a lot. Oh, Lexington okay. barbecue. Yeah, I Y'all gotta come visit me. I was gonna say, when do we get to go to your house and have this Lexington At Cross barbecue? At CrossFit Hogtown. Yeah. Oh, I'm drive in. down the I'm road. In. You had a post the other day with the pig on it. Like, there's a pig that's yeah, it's, named Rich and one named Haley. So, the thing, is, <laughs> the thing about where I'm from is, like, since it is, like, the barbecue capital, outside of each store downtown, there's a big pig, and they can design oh. it however they want it to. So That's cool. The, um, the gym is downtown, so they had one big pig that's, mm. like, CrossFit Hogtown, and then they had two small pigs, and I was one of the, the small pigs. So that's cool. so good. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's how, good. how you know you made it. When you yeah. get a pig made, are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. You know you've made it, North Carolina, when you have your own pig. I know. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you already train today? Yeah. You guys already did the I morning thing? I think we're training thing? again here later. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? I think so, yeah. Cool. Because, um, yeah, he said maybe bring your bring, bring our gym bags. Or something. Yeah, I think they're cleaning the house. So the kids are going to hang out yeah. here. We've got um, a um, potential hiree coming, I think. Oh, okay. We're working out with him at three here. Oh, okay. right on. Yeah. All right. Like oh. a like a videographer kind of a. Mm-hmm. All right. You gonna put him in the what dirt or we're gonna be uh, nice to him? Or? He said he gained twenty pounds over the quarantine, so we're gonna. Oh. Yeah, Whip we're him gonna, into we're shape. Gonna, we're gonna get him back on schedule. I like it. <laughs> I think Little something like what you went through in the beginning. You yeah. Know, well, I said I said we should do that. <laughs> that yeah. impress so us. Nobody Dazzle was for us. it though. 
right. Like your, your, your like your first sort of job interview, they put you on the mm-hmm. spot and oh, yeah. acted like you were going to have to do a bunch of workout stuff. And yeah, I did do a bunch of workouts, but who sleeps with their eyes open? Rich. 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 Oh, hidden, hidden talent. talent. That's mm. a bad word. Do you have a hidden mm-hmm. talent? <laughs> What's your hidden talent? Nobody knows. TikTok dancing, duh. Oh, that's I not, learned. Not really hidden. I learned so she hidden. can Can't sing. Think. You can sing. Oh, I do that too. She told yeah. me. Can you? Mm-hmm. Like it sounds I all right. I think so. Okay. I don't know. Dance right. Go ahead. No, no, actually, I didn't mean to answer your question. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you have to all like leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can. Yeah. You want to sing us out? We'll get up and leave, and you can just sing to the camera. No. There's two cameras right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Step into the light. <laughs> Sure? Choose your song and go. I'll be a backup dancer. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. yeah, that would be band. classic. Right, shift, left shift. Let's do that. <laughs> oh. That will be uh, YouTube gold. Yeah, that would be. Oh, wow. that. What's that snapping noise? Sorry, it's a battery. Some batteries. No, that's all right. Very good. Awesome. All right, good deal, good guys. I think that's well, a wrap. Thanks for dropping in, Haley. Thanks for hey, stopping yeah. by. Us Guest out appearance. Strong. Well, bye. Everyone, have an awesome day. Peace. <laughs>